What the deal? This your boy X dot E dot L dot O. It's gonna open up Cakewalk here and kind of walk through uh, how to actually set up Satella. All right. So I'm gonna do an empty project. So that way I can kind of do everything from scratch. Probably even create like a template so that uh, you can actually use as well. All right. So usually this is how it starts up and is set up. All right, so we're actually gonna uh, double click on Satella. And we're gonna set it to where it has um, a MIDI source. And I'm gonna have it to all SIMS audio outputs to a stereo. So it'll actually have, each will have its own line uh, of stereo tracks and this is the sim track folder so it's going to make a folder for it all right and as you can see it has 16 tracks and one midi um, i usually move this midi up to the top just so you can actually see it at the top and seeing that it has its own folder you can name your folder to whatever you want to name it and let's say you wanted to actually have it to um save all your settings for it so you can click on this and it'll highlight all of them and if you right click on here, it will give you an option to save track template. Uh, but let's actually set up some drums in here first so we can kind of get it started. So I'm just going to hit on this little MIDI icon and that's going to actually bring up Satella. All right, and this is how it looks. So basically what you want to do is um, get some other sounds. This is the basic 808 drum kit that it actually comes with. Um, even if you do like the drop down, it'll show that uh, it's the factory kit. Um, I actually made my own kit in here. So let me show you how I started that. All right. So uh, the first thing you want to do is actually um, set your outputs. So you want to go down to, sorry, you want to go to this, the three dots, and then you want to go to audio output. And it gives you an option that says 16 channel output. So basically each one of those pads will actually have its own line to actually get sounds out of. So now, if I move this over, the kick, the snare, each one will have its own line as you see the sound coming out of it. All right. So what you wanna do is start a new kit. All right, so, um, so right now it's giving you an option to load samples. So you can load samples from here, or you can just drag and drop the sample and it's gonna start on this C3. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my media and actually find some, all right, so I have a whole bunch of uh, drum patterns or drum kicks and snares. I made my own thing. I haven't released it, I'm probably not going to. But if I drag this first one onto this first track here, so now I have my kick in here. So seeing that I have a folder full of kicks, about 36 kicks are in there. So I can actually click inside this window. I can click in here. I can raise the volume, lower the volume. I can change the shape of it. And if you double click, it'll set itself back. You can use some compression if you want to. And of course your tone and your pan, you can pan it left and right. So these are the options that it actually gives you inside of Satella, if you, even if you wanted to tune your, uh, your kick. All right, so um, if I wanted to change to a different kick, I just hit this arrow here, or I can go up here and go to where my kicks are and change them that way. Um, I think it's easier just to use the arrows so that way it'll stay inside this folder. If you wanted it to go outside that folder, say you had like, you know, hundreds of kicks inside of a kick folder, you can actually set it to where it'll change your folder as well, where it says stay in same folder or continue to next or previous folder. So you get that option in here as well. All right. All right, let's stick with that one. And now I'm gonna go to my 
smear folder. I'm just gonna take the first one, have a snap in there. All right, so I can go. So it gives you that option to actually have that freedom and you can just, I usually like to do it from my folders so that once I actually uh, put them in here, I can always go back in there and change them if I need to. All right, so it also gives you like an option to mute and solo and you can actually fill this all the way up to the 16 with whatever you want. Um, and like I said, you can always use it as the folders change your uh, sounds so that makes it really easy for you to actually get everything set up inside of Satella. all right so let's say you want to actually save this kit this kit so this kick snare and hi-hat so what you want to do is go to these three dots and you want to save kit or no i'm sorry add to user kits so this way uh, once you add it in here, let's say uh, test one, right? So you add it, and now test one is in your list. So I have test one and I have uh, Excel full kit. So uh, let's say that you actually wanted to save, save it into your um, your templates. Right click on this first one, and you want to save as track template. So once you click on that, you'll just name it. I'm gonna name it as test kit one. And you see it says track template file. So you'll know that it's gonna save there and it's gonna save in this folder. And you hit okay. So now when you go in here and you go look for a template, you see it says test kit one. So now you have your setup to where you can actually get it anytime you press on it. I also did that for a couple of my uh, contact outs um, for my string ensembles and stuff like that. So that way when I'm doing like uh, orchestral or cinematic kind of stuff, I can just throw it in there and know that everything will be set up. And of course, you know, you always got your step sequencer and your kick is on C3, which matches this C3 here. So if you just want to do like a quick little uh um hi-hats so you can do it for every uh every two and boom and there you have a regular drum pattern set up in satilla real quick and easy Man, if y'all haven't liked, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I don't know what y'all waiting for, man. Let's get this done. Let's get this going. It's your boy X.E.L.O. Peace.